All right, so for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at some bits that I find helpful uh, for me as a HVAC commercial installer. And I figured I would share them uh, with you guys uh, just in case anyone else was looking for some bits maybe to use uh, to make their job a little bit easier. Um, so to start off with, we have the Malco quarter 5 16 bit. Now this is the four inch long uh, bit. Melco does offer a two inch long bit. Um, I believe a little smaller one than that, um, which you see right here. This is the, the, the smallest one Melco makes. Uh, they make a two inch one, four inch and a six inch. So you have a, four, a selection of four um, for the quarter 5 16 And then you also have the same selection for five sixteenths three eighths which i have one of those back here um, but this bit is um a very helpful to use you're gonna pretty much use this bit on a daily basis um, whether you're doing commercial or residential uh, installs uh because most of the time panels and things being held together in a unit rather whether if it's a furnace AC or a rooftop is going to be held together mostly by a quarter and five sixteenths. Uh, and I do like the newer updated um, bits from Malco, uh, which have that tapered end, as you can see right there. So you got your quarter inch that is tapered and your five sixteenths, which is normal. Just I feel it grabs a little bit better uh, onto the screw head rather than that big bulkier head. Um, so you're going to want to pick yourself up at least one of these. You don't need all of them, but yeah, I do recommend picking up one of those. Uh, this is a newer bit for me. Um, if you did see my video on the uh, quick locks, uh, I do prefer these quick locks over just the magnetic holders. Um, but this is a new bit for me. I did pick up this uh, Sonex uh, 3 8 uh, 12 point socket um, because I was getting tired of using a box end wrench uh, when I was working with these bridle rings uh, right here. Uh, these bridle rings and a clamp. Um, this is typically, you typically use a 3 8 box end wrench to tighten this down. Um, but I have found if you get a 12.3A socket, it goes on there uh, without uh, without any issue. And then you can attach this to your drill. And then you can just simply um, tighten it down with your drill and not have to be sit there cranking on it with a box end wrench. Uh, you can work a little bit faster, I found. Um, so that is why I decided to pick this guy up. Uh, the socket was only a, a, a few dollars. Uh, and then plus all the little accessories and stuff, a socket adapter and things like that. It's a fairly inexpensive bit. Um, I, I don't know if you'd be using this very much in residential work, but definitely in commercial work when you're running some new communication wire, uh, you do have to hang it through the, um, the bridle rings. Um, and you do have to install quite a few of them sometimes. So it is nice to just be able to use your drill uh, rather than a box end wrench and tighten it by hand. Uh, so that is a newer piece for me. Um, another thing that you I do use quite a bit is these number three uh, Phillips bits. Now these I tend to use uh, mainly for when we are doing rooftops, uh, mainly when we're doing the curves for the rooftops, uh, when we're securing them to the decking of the roof, uh, whether it's wood or metal decking. Uh, we typically do like to use... Um, it depends on if we're supplying the screws or if the roofer is going to supply the screws to secure the curbs. Um, but we typically either use a 3 8 um, hex head bit or a hex head screw, or we use a um, number three roofing screw to secure the curb down to the, uh, the decking or the roof. Um, just depends on if we have how much of the curb we have to shim up and how much, um, and how much leveling has to be done. Um, uh, but we do use number three. So I do have a couple of these guys in uh, my bit holder right here since they are relatively used uh, a lot. Uh, and then we have another socket right here. Now this is a seven sixteenth socket, um, which is very useful. We also use C clamps. Um, so again, instead of using a seven sixteenth wrench to tighten that down, you might as well get a socket. Uh, to do that uh, and tighten it down. Uh, mainly, we use these uh, C clamps for hanging steel that we can either hang ductwork off of, uh, or hang some some runs, some duck runs off of. Um, so it is nice to have a bit again on your drill just to make that process go a little bit faster and work a little bit more efficient. And this is another Sonex socket. Um, now the one thing about these sockets is a normal six point socket we found uh, doesn't really work. Um, that well, it's the 12 point, I guess you call it spline drive or 12 point sockets that work the best at gripping those uh, square head screws. Um, so if you are going to use these, um, 
if you are going to use them just keep that in mind uh, you don't have to buy the impact rated ones i believe you can buy individual sockets from husky at home depot and those are going to work just fine uh you're not putting a huge amount of torque load on them you're just snugging that either the c-clamp up or the bridle ring clamp up um so i'm sure it'll work just fine on your impact driver I mean, or if you're old school and you use a drill it'll probably work just fine um so there is that obviously i have this little tiny uh melco quarter 5 16 bit i generally like to run this guy on our, my right angle attachments uh if i want to have to get a screw in some of those hard to reach places or if i'm trying to take a screw out of those harder to reach places um so this is it is nice to have a little small bit uh for that uh, and this is probably my most used bit this is my 5 16 3 8 bit um again this is the four inch version of it um you can get like i said that there's three other different sizes you can get so whatever floats your boat uh you can get that size i just prefer the four inch size um this is probably my most used bit um because i use a lot of 5 16 screws uh and then if if it's already chucked into my drill and i'm going up to a roof and i'm you know doing curbs or whatever i don't have to worry about okay do i have a 3 8 bit or whatever unless i already know i'm doing number three uh from using the number three screws or whatever uh, so this is probably my most used bit and probably my most favorite bit uh, out of all the bits that i use uh, on a daily basis and then here is another bit right here this is just uh it's an eye lag bit so you put the eye lag screw in there and then you screw it allows you to screw it into the wood uh this is a super cheap bit i just picked it up from home depot i think it was like five six dollars something like that uh, and as you can see the eye lags just slide right into there and it allows you to drive it into the wood um we are on a job currently right now uh where we're hanging a lot of ductwork in a building that's mostly wood um so we're having to put a lot of eye lags in to hang our ductwork with cable um and our spiral with cable so this has come in uh handy uh, so this is a definite must if you're doing a lot of uh commercial duct work in buildings that are built out of wood not you know steel or uh whatever so that is a nice uh bit to have uh and then this is just another uh, milwaukee quick lock um a bit here that has the the newer milwaukee magnet on it that has a number two bit um, now i use this bit quite often when we are screwing your registers on either to ductwork uh plenum or just generally screwing them onto a wall just so it holds the screw uh, and then you don't have to hold the screw and try to drill at the same time the magnets are definitely strong enough on there to hold the screw you just got to make sure you apply the right uh, right amount of pressure not to uh, have this screw um have the drill fall off the screw and um you know smash your hand up against the wall um i i do like to keep it in the quick lock uh this magnet is nice if i didn't want to have the magnet on i could take the magnet off uh, but I, I do prefer to leave it on it, it's quite handy I, I quite like it a lot as you can see it is quite uh, dirty and used um so there is that put that guy back in there and number another number three phillips i like to have two just in case you know my partner doesn't have one we i break a bit whatever i'm not scrambling to go find another one uh and then i do have a half inch bit right here half inch nut driver uh now i re did just recently pick this guy up uh one of the jobs i'm on we're hanging um some makeup air units uh in, in a ceiling and the units uh, for some reason they decided to secure all the doors and everything on there uh with half inch screws and when we went to go take one apart um to get some parts out of it and you know add the filter section onto the back of it i quickly figured out it was half inch and i didn't have a half inch um nut driver i only had a half inch socket at the time uh, it was kind of annoying taking out with a uh, socket it's not magnetic so you, you're so used to like a magnetic uh, nut driver where it just kind of holds a screw on there you put the screw on there and fall right out uh, with the socket so when i was in home depot and i saw a half inch um nut driver figured might as well go ahead and pick that guy up uh and make my life a little easier since i have two more of those makeup airs to uh build and hang at work and then up here is just a selection of different bits mostly phillips um phillips number two bits uh, on a couple of i'm currently missing one of my um well i can't i think of the name of it it's the star bit or torx bit there we go uh, i believe it's the t25 that i'm missing right now i believe it is currently chucked into my drill um because the last job that i was on uh before filming this video i was using that uh to re-secure the um one of the boards we took off a window um that it was secured on with a torx head screw so that's where that bit is uh so that's all the bits that i currently fit in this little dewalt case i like this uh dewalt case obviously it's mostly filled with milwaukee bits and uh some things like that um 
when it comes to bits, it doesn't really matter as long as it gets the job done. I like this DeLalt case um, only because it's clear and I can see what is inside. So when it's sitting either in my shelf of uh, my van or sitting in my bag, I, I know what's inside. Um, whereas if you have the Milwaukee ones, especially some of the older ones, like I have a lot of these cases like this, I can't necessarily be, tell what's inside all the time. Obviously, I do have a little picture that shows me, um, but it's not going to tell me if I have nut drivers and things like that. Hence why I like the clearer case. Now, I know some of the newer Milwaukee uh, cases coming out have a clear front, um, but it'll be interesting to see if I could fit the bits in as nice as I can into this DeWalt one. Uh, and that's all the bits I have in here. Now I do have a couple extra bits right here that I don't fit in there. These just sit in my tool bag. Uh, so I did recently pick up this threaded rod bit is for three A's threaded rod. Uh, and it, I use it mainly for when we're using the clamps, um, kind of like they're kind of similar to these. Um, but they have a hole in the back that allows you to put a piece of threaded rod through. So if you're hanging gas pipe in a ceiling, or whatever you're gonna hang, maybe you're gonna hang duck work with some threaded rod uh, and a piece of strut or a piece of angle. Um, th what this little bit does is you can thread it onto a piece of threaded rod. It'll bottom out um, th about that much. It'll bottom out that much. And then what, it, what it'll do is it'll allow you to take that piece of threaded rod and uh, screw it in. So instead of having to hand tighten it into that clamp, you just take your drill and you buzz the piece of threaded rod in to the desired height. Uh, it makes the job go a lot faster. Now, not something I'm, I use very uh, frequently, but it is nice to have. Uh, I did just recently pick up this uh, quick lock adapter for it. I really like these quick lock adapters. Um, and then I did recently also pick up a 7 16 bit uh, for Milwaukee and a quick lock adapter for that. Um, you don't really typically run into 7 16 too much, uh, but when you do, uh, it's going to catch you off guard because uh, you're going to be, you're going to think it's, you know, a 3 ace or whatever. You're going to try all these different nut drivers that you have and you're going to quickly find out that none of them are right. And then you're going to have to pull out, you know, a socket or whatever to take off a 7 16 So I did just recently add this to. Uh, my tool bag. I uh, figured, you know, for when that moment comes, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be prepared now. I'm not gonna have to go scrambling for a socket or whatever, or uh, you know, a crescent wrench to get, get, get it out. Uh, I'll have a seven sixteenths now. Uh, so I did recently add this to my lineup. It's not a must, um, but you will eventually run into a seven sixteenths or a couple seven sixteenths every now and then. Uh, so I just want to have it a bit ready just in case. Uh, so with that being said, that's pretty much it for some of the bits that I would recommend um, that you add. If you mainly, uh, this is mainly meant for commercial industrial install, what I do. Uh, some of the residential stuff, you're not going to be using these sockets to hang bridle rings and things like that for wire unless, you know, you are using that, then that's going to be something you're going to want to use. Um, but this is just mainly what I use. Uh, makes my job 10 times easier. Um, and I'm sure someone's going to say, oh, well, you know, you don't need all that just to be able to get the job done. I know, but I like to make my job as easy as possible. Um, so with that being said, that's all I have for this video. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And if you did enjoy the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. But that's all I have for this video.